Well, Halloween is just over two weeks away and kids get excited for the night, but it can also be a good time to remind them of some ways to stay safe before they go knocking on any doors. Dr. Lindsay Klukies is a Washington University emergency medicine physician at St. Louis Children's Hospital. She's with us this morning. Excuse me, with what you need to keep in mind. Good morning to you. Good morning. Yeah, so what are some of the, like, the most common emergency incidents you see during Halloween? Yeah, and you know, as a pediatric emergency department physician, I know firsthand what we see over the spooky season, and it's surprising to a lot of people, yeah. but injuries from pumpkin carving is the number one okay. Halloween-related Halloween related injuries that we see. And so I like to say, keep the carving to the adults. Younger children really shouldn't be carving pumpkins. Um, they can still enjoy pumpkins. My kids love to scoop out mm -hmm. the seeds or paint or color on sure. pumpkins. And if you do have an older child who can carve a pumpkin, make sure you do so in a well-lit area, on a flat surface, avoid any moisture, because that can lead to slipping. And make sure you use a small serrated pumpkin carving knife. The longer, the, the large sharp knives actually tend to get stuck in pumpkins, yeah. and it requires a lot of force to remove. And we see a lot of hand injuries, hand cuts and lacerations this time of year. Yeah, what about when they have their costumes on? Is there any concern with them tripping and things like that? Because the costumes can be kind of elaborate. Yes, absolutely and always. Kids in general tend to trip, so, and I know costume sizing is a little off, yeah. but it's really important to make sure that the costume fits appropriately. Avoid baggy, loose costumes, mm -hmm. those with parts that are hanging off of it, right. because kids fall, and we tend to see injuries related to falls, um, specifically fractures of the arms and the wrists. Yeah, and some of the costumes they can't see because of the mask and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, we so actually, a lot going on. We, have, we recommend avoiding masks, and okay. I know kids love masks, but it's for two reasons. First, like you said, they obstruct the view. Mm -hmm. That can lead to, obviously, a trip hazard. And then the second thing is masks tend to be larger than kids' faces, and they can cause injury themselves um, to the eyes, to the faces. And so try face paint, um, avoid masks. Yeah, what advice do you have for parents to, when, to, when it comes to safety for trick-or-treating? Yeah, you know, I think it's a really great time to talk to your kids about street safety, right? There's no really other day of the year where kids are running around, there's motorists, outside, it's dark out, and so have a conversation about just typical road safety that they can use all year round. Make sure they know to cross at the corners, um, at, through sidewalks sure. if available, and I like to teach them to always make eye contact with motorists mm -hmm. before crossing the street just to ensure that they're on the same page. And then, of course, leave the electronics down. Put them down for both the trick-or-treaters and the motorists. Yeah, absolutely. Some good advice for us this morning. Dr. Lindsay Klukies, thank you so much. We appreciate thank your time. Thank you.